Imagine, if you will, the journey of one man from streaking down the field to make the first tackle in a Super Bowl victory to struggling to navigate a lonesome hallway, having lost the use of his arms, keenly aware that the rest of his body will soon follow. Welcome to the world of former NFL player O.J. Brigance. I realized the fact that ALS is a, is a fatal disease, but I also looked at the flip side of it. What are the possibilities? What if I was the first one to, to, be, to beat ALS? What if they found a cure to it? How could I help? It is that very question that has been the driving force in the life of Dr. Jeffrey Rothstein, the director of the world's leading ALS research center. What can I do to help? What can I do to make sure that one day I can deliver a message of hope instead of a death sentence to my patients? When I first see a patient, I really don't know how long they'll live. I do know they're going to die of their ALS. I do believe, in, in certainly in my lifetime as a researcher, that we'll find an answer for our patients and we will increase their survival. I just can't promise it to the patient when they first come to see me. Today, I consider, I consider myself, myself the luckiest, the luckiest man, man on the face, on the of, the face earth. of the earth. It was 1939 that Lou Gehrig captivated the country with his famous farewell speech at Yankee Stadium. In 1995, another American icon, Cal Ripken, broke Gehrig's record of durability. In the process, reminding Americans that there is still no cure for amyotrophic lateral sclerosis. But just down the road in Baltimore, some of the planet's most talented researchers are working to change all that, working to make ALS more manageable, to improve and lengthen the lives of patients, and ultimately, to find a cure. A patient had once posed to me, if I gave you $10,000, could I find the cure for them? The answer is I don't know. I do know that we've taken $10 million and converted it into $100 million in NIH grants. And those grants have led to great advances, new tools for ALS, new models that we use to understand the disease, and in fact, new therapies. All of that research, however, has not yet led to a cure. I do believe that the monies that are spent now will lead to a better therapy and a cure someday. The Robert Packard Center for ALS Research at prestigious Johns Hopkins Hospital has set the standard for ALS science, not just in the United States, but around the world. It is truly the only ALS center of its kind. First to discover a drug to treat ALS symptoms. First to use neuron stem cells for therapy. First, to develop a method to reconnect motor neurons to muscles, and so many other firsts in the battle against this insidious neuromuscular disease, including first when it comes to turning fundraising dollars into research. The Packard Center spends an almost unprecedented 80 to 85 percent of all the money raised on research. It is why O.J. Bergantz, stricken in the prime of his life, chose to become an ambassador for the Packard Center. Fundraising efforts like the 5K run, supported by organizations such as the Baltimore Ravens. Thank y'all for getting up this early to be out here. Are an important part of what we do at the Packard Center. The harsh reality is that of the 5,000 patients diagnosed with ALS this year in the United States, fewer than half will live beyond three years. But their heroic battles will not go unforgotten. Brigance, the Ravens' director of player development, has tackled ALS like he used to tackle opposing players. I think I brought more awareness or had the opportunity along with uh, the Package Center to bring more awareness, uh, to bring this disease to the forefront. And if I, I, I wouldn't trade that because I know that there are people besides myself, because it's not about me in the end, that there are people who are gonna be helped and benefit from this. Within months of that interview, Brigantz could no longer stand, and when presented with the game ball by the Ravens players, was barely audible. One business, one focus, for a higher purpose, man. Don't forget it, don't forget it. I, I told my man to give me up. I didn't want to be in that there when y'all walk in here. I will walk in here, and we will be champions. NFL Hall of Famer, Ozzie Newsome. In life, and especially in football, we always talk about toughness. Well, over the last year, toughness has be, been redefined by OJ as far as I'm concerned. 
We are the world's leading and only center of our kind. We are the Robert Packard Center for ALS Research. We aggressively pursue one mission, to find new therapies to slow or cure ALS, to improve and save lives, and we need your help.